Hello guys, so today we will learn how to draw the circuit in multi-sim. As uh, you can see, I have started multi-sim, it is from National Instrument and here are some basics tools, you can see diodes, TTL, op-amp, mix, everything are available here and the platform what you can see it is a type of breadboard where we will attach all these resistors, capacitor, whatever the equipments are, we will connect it to our breadboard, what exactly we do in hardware, okay. So this is the breadboard. Next in the right side you can see this is the function generator, multimeter, oscilloscope, all the measuring equipments are here from which you will use to measure the current voltage or frequency whatever you need. So this these are this is pretty simple and uh, I am just keeping my manual here I will provide you this manual. Uh, here you can see we will go for first uh, what we need, we need resistors first. The first experiment is the characteristics of PNP BJT okay, transistor. So this is PNP transistor exactly we do not have 2907 so we will go for first one 3702 okay, BJT PNP. So this is the circuit of BJP, you can see two resistors are there, two sources are there and there are several voltmeters, okay. So we will go for resistors, you can pick any resistors, the value we can change afterwards also, okay. So I am picking two resistors from here, okay. Everything you will get it from here only, you just have to select, the power source is there, you can see. DC power source we need, there is one DC power source, we need two DC power source, here it is two DC power source. Then uh, then comes the multimeter thing, you can see these are the multimeters, they are 1 milli ampere multimeter means it is a current multimeter and they are 3 voltmeters. So, here this is 1 multimeter, 2 multimeters and uh, now I am changing the value of resistance 47 K. Multimeter should be in ampere mode, we can change its mode from here by pressing B or A whatever you want. Uh, this connection is for milli ampere that is why I kept it in current mode. By just clicking on the connections, we will draw the wire and we will connect it to the other end of the source, okay. So we do not have to select anything to draw the wire, we just click and drag, click and drag and by pressing delete, by first select it and press delete, you can delete it. It is very simple. You can see the diagram here, okay. See, actually, we have to change the diagram, that is not exactly, yeah. See, this is how we have to connect the circuit. You can see the connector uh, current multimeter will come in series with the resistance. So, here we have one resistance and we will connect the multimeter in series with it. So just drag and connect, just drag and connect, just drag and connect like this, Dra sorry, drag and connect, yes, connect this one, we have to measure voltage here across R1, so it will be in parallel with R1. As you have learned in your class, theory classes, here in this experiment we will just draw the characteristics, we will see the character, here it is given RE and RC should be 147 kilo ohm, 
so i will change its value to 147 okay you can go step by step here as you can see it has been already mentioned each and every step so i will change the value of bcc okay and uh, we will uh, go for ground also we will select ground also we need to connect one ground in the circuit otherwise there will be problem so i have connected one ground now what else we have to do vcc to the minimum position we have done it by varying the now we have to vary eb by varying vee -E, okay and we have to measure the ie okay ie and re okay so we have to connect one more multimeter here to see the changes in veb okay we will connect one here one this side no issue okay and this voltage we have to change keep it minimum we will start it with very low amplitude okay 0.05 volt very low we can't change its uh, level so we have to keep it as v1 only can't change it now run the circuit from here double click on multimeter you can see its value now double click on another multimeter you can see it will give in ampere okay millivolt milliampere you can see each and every value just drag and replace okay this one this is for this one it is in ampere and you can see all the three multimeter reading but can you tell this circuit is wrong because you can see the emitter current direction it is going inside from the right side this is not a right circuit we have to change the circuit this is the right circuit i have reconnected the multimeter now my emitter current is going from the left hand side and this side is veb and vee and right side is vcc now it is okay okay so that's why i have changed the direction and you can see the readings here when my v1 is 0.5 volt and v2 is 0 volt we can see the measurement of each and every multimeter just using a sniping tool just to snipe this save is as a picture okay so afterwards you can record it for your reading because you have to take reading at each and every changing voltage of vee you can see now i have made it to 1 volt and you can see the changes in multimeter the values okay now again i have stopped it i will change it to what one again no this time i have changed vcc to 1 you can see v2 is 1 and v1 is 0.5 again i have to take the measurement from each and every multimeter okay now make it 1 volt so 1 volt so well you can see by varying these kind of voltage we can measure the readings of all the multimeters okay in lab manual you can see the table and you will know why i am measuring all these things you can see the tables okay in lab manual you can read these instructions also what you have to make it constant and what you have to vary that's what i am doing okay this is 
I E V E V E E. Okay. Again, for the second table, we have to connect it like this in ampere. So, we can measure I E here. Before we were measuring V R E, now we are measuring I E. Okay. Make it as 0 and we will vary V C C now as you can read by varying V C C we will vary V C B. Okay. This is a second table and you will I will give you this manual and you will see in second table we have to measure I E. My main purpose is to measure I E as you can see this is in second table I E should be almost 0 and we will measure V C E and I C by keeping I E as constant. So, as we know I will I E will not be constant always, but it is very less. So, micro ampere, ampere is very less, so, we do not have to take it into consideration. We stop it and again vary the voltage and record the readings. After each and every voltage what you give to the source, you have to record all these readings. Okay? so that you can make the table and you have to take at least 7 to 10 readings, okay. 7 to 10 variations would be there according to the table as I have provided. You have to make all the variation, run and stop and record the readings and then again change the voltage and then again run it and record the reading then stop then again change the voltage like I am doing here For each and every case you have to do this just record the reading and you have to maintain the manual where you have to plot the graph of all this table in excel you can plot see you have to plot the graph, the input characteristics, this is the output characteristics we are dealing now. Now, before we have dealt with the input characteristics and by mixing these two we can see the transfer characteristics and this is your homework for NPN common emitter CE characteristics, this is your homework. Okay. So, you have to again do, you have to do same thing in NPN also, you just have to repeat this step and you have to see the output. Okay. So, that is it for today, save it, save it anywhere, wherever you like, it is not an issue, it will be in MS 14 format, I am saving it as a PNP characteristics in MS actually this is my computer problem it can't I can't able to save in my C drive so I will go for another folder okay, I made one another folder analog multi simulator okay so I can save it there you can see here it is and afterward you can open this also.